So let's speak plainly about what happened in 2020. Even before the first ballot was cast, the former president was preemptively sowing doubt about the election results. <clears throat> he built his lie over months. It wasn't based on any facts. He was just looking for an excuse, a pretext, a cover for the truth. He's not just a former president. He's a defeated former president. Defeated by a margin of over 7 million of your votes in a full and free and fair election. There is simply zero proof the election results are inaccurate. In fact, in every venue where evidence had to be produced, an oath to tell the truth had to be taken, the former president failed to make his case. Let's think about that. The former president and his supporters have never been able to explain how they accept as accurate the other election results that took place on November 3rd. The elections for governor, United States Senate, House of Representatives. Elections which they closed the gap in the House. They challenged none of that. The president's name was first. Then we went down the line. Governors, senators, House of Representatives. Somehow those results are accurate. On the same ballot, 